Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brent here. Okay, I, I just have a just just a, a quick word uh, because I, I've been um, online ministering to uh, KJV old people, um, trying to share the truth um, with them uh, because I care. You know, I care. Um, some would say, "Why do you even bother?" You know, because I care. Um, I'm not going to ignore you because you have you know. 30 followers. I'm not going to ignore you because you, um, uh, you, know, you just are looking for um, a means of making a name for yourself by bashing um, leading evangelical uh, believers like Pastor John MacArthur, um, Pastor James uh, White, and Jeff Durbin. Um, you know, uh, pastors uh, John Piper and other leading Reformed theological thinkers. Um, I just saw a fellow popped up on my feed. Um, I won't mention his name because I don't want to be guilty of the same thing. So I'll just simply say um, pray for them that uh, are uh, out there bashing other believers because they either, number one, don't understand the truths that Reformed thought teach, um, but they also um, want to create a following. Uh, it's called heresy, folks. Um, the Bible is clear in teaching that a heretic is a, is from the Greek hierasis, it's a self-willed opinion that leads to sectarianism. It leads to division. It creates division. It creates uh, divisive um, uh, mindset, and uh, um, and you 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 get a following like that. You get a following like that. I'm not about that. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm never going to do that. Um, if being divisive is my means of gaining a thousand subscribers or more, eh, I won't do it. Uh, I don't want to do it. Um, I'm looking at Galatians 5 and 15 where it says, you know, if you bite and devour one another, you know, beware that you're not consumed by one another, you know. Um, so uh, if we um, continue to bash each other, and you see it all the time, people constantly online on YouTube, you know, bashing one another and beating one another into the ground and talking about people. Uh, I've seen some people call others, you know, derogatory names and ad hominem uh, abounds on YouTube. So um, that's not what we do here. That's not what we're going to do. I'm not going to get into it. Um, I may have been guilty of it in the past. And if so, please uh, point it out. I'll delete that video. Uh, if I've been guilty of, um, you know, dragging someone's name through the mud, you know, Lord forgive me. And, uh, you know, I, I learn valuable lessons when I encounter these things. Uh, I'll respond to them in love and I'll share the truth with them. Um, but uh, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, I was going to show you this person. I was going to, you know, tell you to warn. I know Paul warned people, you know, warned believers of particular individuals by name. And uh, there's a time and a place for that. There's a time and a place for that. Um, but eh, right now is not the time or the place. Um, we're not here to win arguments. We're here to win souls. Amen. So uh, I want to encourage people to read the Word of God, to study it, to know that it is the Word of God and that they can trust it. And that is in any one of the major translations of the Bible. Uh, uh, as I said before, you know, we're not King James only. We're, uh, we're KJV first. Um, that is my primary translation. And uh, that's, that's the uh, translation of choice for us here on this channel. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Forgive my allergies. Okay, so uh, um, just keep this fellow in prayer. Um, pray that God would come against um, heresy and uh, false teachers, false teaching, and that God would uh, point these people Hallelujah.
to the truth, to his word. And uh, we'll give the Lord all praise and thanks for everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Jesus loves you, and we love you. I hope and pray that you have a great rest of your day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.